What's up guys? I got a different video for you today. Uh, some of y'all that have been with me for a good while might know that I like to do unboxing type videos. It's just I, you know, I don't really get subscription boxes other than Universal Yum, so uh, I don't really do uh, much unboxing type of videos, but I'm gonna nonetheless open up a box or actually a few packages for you today. Uh, and I'm glad he's with me because they pertain to this guy. One way or another, I was going to make sure he was uh, in this video. That's why I'm sitting on my couch, more space for us to share. So, yeah, uh, what happened? A lot of, uh, honestly, kind of weird coincidences all tied up into uh, leading up to this moment right here. So, uh, about a week or so ago, uh, this little guy... Uh, he broke his two favorite toys all within a few hours of each other. Pretty disappointing. It was also uh, time for me to uh, replace the filter on his water fountain. And uh, I can only uh, get that filter online. It's not available in any stores in my area. Thomas. <laughs> You're such a silly cat. But, uh, yeah, uh... So, uh, normally I'll order it from, uh, Walmart, but Walmart's out of stock. I'm, I'm kind of concerned, because if one store's out of stock, you know, is it going to go completely out of stock soon? But either way, uh, Target had it, so, uh, I'll order it from Target. But they have, uh, for some reason, like, you have to order at least $35 worth of stuff from Target to get it shipped to your home, uh. It's weird. I don't know why. Uh, but like I said, he broke some of his toys. So I was planning on getting some toys either way. But I ended up getting a little bit more than I was originally planning. Just to make that $35 mark. But yeah. Either way. So it all came in three packages. Uh, shipped from different areas. But all arrived at the same time. Uh, when it arrived though. Uh, the uh, maintenance guy. Like uh, when I came out to like see there on my front porch. The maintenance guy. Uh was here looking at some stuff, and I have to keep Thomas locked out away from him, and he was getting kind of restless, so I went ahead and uh, pulled out this thing, so Thomas, you can come back now, you can play with this if you want. I was kind of off dragging it around earlier, that's why I was laughing at him and pulling it back, but yeah, I've kind of learned what type of toys Thomas enjoys, uh, so you know, it's a nice size to kind of fling around, you know, you can grab it and kick it at it. So that's pretty cool. You silly boy. So let's see what else we uh, got for Thomas. Uh, you never have too many uh, laser toys for him. The batteries uh, die pretty quickly and I find it easier to just uh, get a whole new laser and then replace the battery. So. That's usually what I do. Uh, I had some scissors out. Uh, I do like how they go ahead and include some spare batteries. There's my scissors. So, yeah. And I won't really be able to show you, show him playing with it much, but let's see, does it already have a battery in it? Doesn't look like it. Unless it just needs to be, yeah, it doesn't have batteries in it. So, I'm going to just save that one for later. Y'all can imagine it. He loves a good laser toy, though. Uh, so. Let's get this one open. And I'll play with that toy again, even though I'm not waiting around. So, uh, not much of it. Yeah, here's his uh, filter. The uh, fountain uses two filters. One of them is available in stores in my area. This one isn't. Very uh, frustrating, confusing. See, I did kind of tear this box open just because uh, for some reason I thought uh, thought the filter was coming in this one, but it, it was an oddly sized box, obviously, for the filter. And yeah, it turns out it was in one of those little envelopes, but uh, this one has a few things in it, so we have another. Uh, Dragging that toy around. Got another uh, little string and stick type toy. Go ahead and open it up. Looks like it kind of attaches all together. Got 
I'm just gonna cut it. That will save a bit of time, won't it? If my scissors can cut through this without cutting its string. There we go. He's liking it. I don't think this is gonna really hold together all that well, but it does have like a two part wand. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and not use that. It's a bit short, but it'll do, but yeah. It's a cool little hangy toy. And it has a couple different attachments for us, so I can swap them out, see which one he likes the most. But yeah, you know, toys about this size are pretty good for him. He doesn't like huge toys. He'll he'll play with small toys. You know, he has plenty of like tiny little mice, but I think he likes, you know, kind of, you know, more medium-sized toys so you can kind of grab it, kick at it. That's something that he likes to do. And the uh, last thing, the reason why that box is kind of thick. I've been wanting an excuse to get something like this for a while. We have a, uh, it's called Sushi Hunter Bento Box Puzzle. So I'll go ahead and uh, open it up to show you how it works. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show Thomas playing with it right now, but hopefully he'll enjoy it. But uh, yeah, so you have little uh, holes in it. You can like fill with treats and cover them up. And then, you know, you can kind of slide them around, figure it out how to open it up and get the treats out. There's a few toys that are, you know, sort of like this, you know, same basic idea, you know, a little puzzle where they try to find some treats. And yeah, I don't know how much he's gonna enjoy it, but I've been wanting excuses to try something like that out on him. And I find good. And of course, you know, this is also shipped in a uh, decent sized box. He'll probably uh, enjoy that. So I'll go ahead and empty that out and just kind of throw that aside. Maybe it'll go in it. Maybe not, but yeah. That's some uh, toys for my silly boy, Thomas. You think you're gonna enjoy that, Thomas? So yeah, I'll uh, see y'all in my uh, next music-related video, I guess.